Welcome back to another video. Now, today I'm going to be doing like a product commercial of this um, amazing Panerai watch. If I get this out of the light, you can see that here. So it's an amazing watch and it's got loads of details if I show you the back here as well. So today we're going to be doing a product commercial of this watch. I'm going to show you the final video right now so you know what we're working with through the rest of the video. So the effect I'm going to try and create today is I'm going to turn all the lights off in my room, make sure it's pitch black. And then I'm going to be using a light, like a light bar, and I'm going to run over the watch, bringing it from being completely black to having like a shine across it. And you can see all the little details in the front and the back of the watch. And we're just going to try around and see what different shots we can try and create. So in order to do this, we're going to need some props. So first of all, we have this light bar, uh, which you can see right here. So if I just turn this on a sec, it's very bright. So it's going to massively overexpose the image, but you can see if I shine it on my face, it's super bright and there are tons of colors we can use. It makes it look a bit desaturated in the screen, but you can see there's loads of different colors. But if I just turn this off, we're gonna be using this to shine over the watch and this is gonna be creating our light and then going back into black afterwards. And then we are using this black PVC like uh, photography sheet, which I'll lay out uh, over here. And I'll just lay this out, put the watch on that, maybe a little bit of water in front to create a nice reflection. And we'll be using the light as well and this should create our full shot. So there's obviously lots of different shots we're trying to create. So you might have one where the watch is straight on, one where the watch is at an angle, maybe the watch on its side, but it's kind of the end of the day now and I don't think there's enough time to shoot so I'm going to set everything up over here right now so the first thing tomorrow is already all prepared and we can start taking these shots. So it's the next day now and obviously it's light and we've got loads of time to get all these shots but first of all we're going to be using the Sigma 50mm f1.4 right here, uh, so it's a very very nice lens. People may argue it's a bit cropped in, but I would say it's absolutely perfectly fine for what we're going to be doing today. And then I'm also using the Canon M50 over here, which is going to be filming me in the dark, uh, just so you can get an understanding of what I'm going to be doing. But I've got the tripod set up, I just need to set up the camera, get everything ready, and then we can start taking these shots. Okay, so before I start, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how I do this and what I'm going to be doing with the light wand. So first of all, we'll just turn it on. Now, I'm not sure which colour I'm going to use yet, but just for this explanation, I'll use uh, just the standard white. And what we're going to be doing is making sure I'm recording using the right settings. And then we're just going to use our light wand and we're just going to move it over the top at different angles and try and work out which way it gets the light reflecting off the water and seeing all the detail inside the watch create the best shot possible. <laughs> first shot came out really well so I'll play it on the screen right now. So now I've done the shot with the watch on its side, I'm probably going to do a shot where the watch is upright and facing towards the camera again and we'll see what we can get with that and we'll review it afterwards. So I just successfully got that shot and I'm really happy with it and I think it turned out really well so I'll play that on the screen right now. So the next shot we're planning on getting is pretty much the exact same thing. This time we're just going to put the watch on an angle so it's facing away from the camera. We're also going to run the light over that and we'll review that at the end. So I just finished up with that shot and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I'll play it on the screen right now. And the next shot I want to get, not sure if it's going to be the final shot or not, but I really want to get a nice macro shot of the back of the watch. So you can see all the nice dials, all the detail and all the wheels and stuff as they spin around. And then we'll probably use the light to pan across it as well. It just create a nice effect. And then at the end, we'll review them and see if there are any other shots that we actually want to get. So I'm really happy with all the shots I've taken and I think I'm finished now, but I'm going to go edit them up and then we can take a look. So 
I've edited up all the shots and they actually look really good and the video looks really nice. Now I'll play the video in a second, the whole thing, but I have to use a different audio because of copyright problems. I'll be uploading the, the video with the better music on my TikTok and maybe my Instagram. For this uh, video on YouTube, I have to use a different song, but the song's all right anyway, so I'll play that now. There you are, so hopefully you enjoyed that and let me know your thoughts on this video uh, on my Instagram because my comments are obviously banned so you have to message me on Instagram. Now in the process of making this video, I actually bought myself a GoPro Hero 8. So now I have a really good GoPro and it's, it's not arrived yet, but it's arriving soon. So the GoPro Hero 8 has arrived and you should be able to see it right here. If I get, get it out of the light. Um, I've given it a few test runs so far, a few test POVs and it's really nice. So hopefully there can be some good videos come with this in the future. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and if anyone knows a lot about TikTok send me a DM as I need some help but just before filming this video we actually hit 6,000 subscribers which is genuinely crazy so I thank you all so much for that but if you enjoyed today's video then leaving a like and subscribing would also mean so much but anyway thank you for watching today's video and I'll catch you in the next one.